construct a truth table for the following statement. So we'll start by listing all of the possible truth values for P and Q. So we have P and Q. And so a good first case is when they're both true. So true, true. Another case is when exactly one of these is false. So true and false. Then another case would be when the first one is false and this one is true. And then the last case would be when they're both false. So false, false. Now we need to write the statements um, that work up to this one so that we can create this one from the ones we have written here. So maybe we can start by writing down not P. And it looks like we'll also need uh, not Q. So let's write that down. And then now from these, we can construct P or not Q. And then last but not least, we have our final statement P or not Q implies not P. Okay, let's go ahead and fill in uh, the tables, the table, and let's work vertically. So for not P, we simply look at P and we negate the truth value. So there's a true here, so it becomes false. A true here, so it becomes false. False here, so it becomes true. False here, so it becomes true. So you just switch the um, truth values. The same thing for not Q, we look at the column for Q and switch the truth values. So true becomes false. False becomes true. True becomes false. And false becomes true. For P or not Q, uh, this statement will be true when at least one of these is true. So we look at the column for P and the column for not Q. And as long as one of these is true, the whole statement is true. So P is true, so it's true. In this case, they're both true, uh, the P and the not Q, so it's true. In this case here, it's false and false, so they're actually both false, so this is actually false. And in the last case, uh, the not Q is true, so this is true. Now, this statement here is called a conditional statement, and this will only be um, false when this is true and this is false. That's the only time it's going to be uh, false. Otherwise, uh, it is always true. So let's look see if we can find the cases where the first part is true and the second part is false. So we're looking um, here and also here. And so you see it's true, false. That's the case where it's false, right? The first part's true, the second part's false. Again, true, false. It's the case where it's false. And then this is not the case where it's false. It's false, true, true, true. So in all the other cases, it's true. Again, it's only false when the first part is true and the second part is false. Otherwise, um, it is true. I hope this video has been helpful.